The 2023 Hakuho Cup hosted six teams from outside Japan, including USA, Hong Kong, and Ukraine. But hopes were highest, as always the case, for the sumo mad Mongol boys, coached by demanding Gangyag Narambatar, who wrestled professionally for three years. As you see, his team is very well drilled. Many will seek sumo scholarships at Japan's prestigious high school clubs, and maybe to emulate this special guest. But our main focus here is Kashiwa Juniors and their quarterfinal against Bunkyo from Saitama. Most of Kashiwa's five boy team, three elementary, two junior high, we'd observed in training last year. First up for them was little Hizuru, an inquisitive lad who bravely asks coach for clarification. <laughs> His sumo is rather more timid than that, Coach Nagai seems obsessed with firming him up. That's why he's in the team today, to grow while out of his depth. <laughs> and despite not having the physical tools, Hizuru fought that one really well. Head nice and low, arm block in, and valiant attempt at a left side attack. If he can just inflate those biceps. The pressure thus grows for the other four lads, perhaps Nagai's plan all along. Second in line is Natsuhi, who struggled to generate power last year. When you look at him now, you can see he's filled out. And found a style that works. His angled footwork sharp as a needle. That's what Kashiwa training brings and ties the score with Bunkyo. Third to fight is Haruhi, seen tussling with Natsuhi here. <laughs> We've seen what he's like once he gets the belt. Now Bunkyo have seen that too. His speed coming in proved all too much, as did the switch of leading leg when his foe tried to breach on the right. That's what we mean by sumo reactions. The fourth fighter up needs no introduction. A quarter-finalist in singles this year, 
a finalist in singles last year. Hayato Kodama himself. And how cool he was in the face of attack. Conceding his belt was surely unplanned, but Hayato barely seemed to notice, simply trusting his vast array of skills and reflexive clamp of a stiffened arm. Kashiwa threw with about to spare. But Ryu Kiyuna is still anxious to win, for he needs to atone for last year when his three defeats in the final three rounds cost Kashiwa the team trophy, which they've never actually won. And the captain rounded things off with gusto, like a cyclone tearing through a house. I hope you're as thrilled to learn as we were that the draw threw two giants together. Kashiwa versus the Mongols next.